Hey guys, Peugeot here, welcome to another guide and today we are going to look at something very interesting we will be killing the bosses in the All Out War as you can see this is an event and we are gathering all of our might so what you need to do is to gather your entire faction everybody, a lot of healers, a lot of fighters, rallies And as you can see we are starting now as you can see on the left side of the screen here you have the quests that you need to do kill guards then to defeat one of the leaders then to kill more guards then the second leader then even more guards and the third leader they are quite strong as you can see on the map they are located just next to your hall of ages or your respective hall and you need to pass through the first the second and then you reach the final boss you have one hour to kill them and of course it's going to be very difficult because they have special skills and that is why you need a lot of people we are going to do our best to succeed in this first thing as you can see is we are killing the guards the small guards and the more we kill the more buffs we are going to get so that way it would be easier for us to kill the bosses so guys as you can see here we have started attacking the boss and it is going rather slowly and we need to be very careful with the special abilities because the boss can easily kill many of our squads and troops you need a lot of healing to buff you and to heal your troops and to restore your resilience and of course another important thing to mention is that the different guards have different bonuses when you kill them we are killing the agile because they are giving us marching speed this means we can complete the event faster of course you could also go for the ones that give total attack or total defense up to you and of course here we have started the second boss it is stronger than the first one we will need all of our might to defeat it and as you can see <laughs> my troops are still coming but i'm going to join right now and fight as well so in the meantime while we are killing the boss let me show you why we are doing this event and what are the rewards so first of all you can see for the first boss you get some caravras weapon tokens and also badges some heals some revival and some gold and there is also participation reward which is royal coin and this is great because this is something that you can get a limited amount of every day every bit of it is going to be appreciated of course each boss has a normal an expert and an epic difficulty and of course the corresponding rewards are higher the second boss as you can see it gives you some additional fragments and some photo shards and I suggest that you get those and then the last one which has to be killed within the time which will be the toughest one if you kill it within 20 minutes you are getting even more rewards if not you just get the normal rewards that you're getting for the other bosses as well as you can see this one takes a considerable amount of time to kill we are losing a lot of troops so i need to pull back and heal a bit then i'm going to get back into the fight and guys now time for the final boss which is of course a very big dragon and he has very nasty skills very difficult to defeat first thing is that he does an attack in a cone so if you see a cone you need to get out of there then the second thing is that he spawns three towers that are increasing his stats kill those towers as fast as possible as you can see and the third skill is that he will spawn a circle and you need to get out of that circle because you will take massive damage so that's how this boss works as you will notice my march is at full health it's important to mention that during this event it is not possible to lose any troops permanently everything can be healed to the maximum so this is the circle that you avoid and yeah once we kill the boss the event will be over we have another 33 minutes i do believe that we will be able to without going into the overtime okay this is the conical attack i was talking about we need to move out of it otherwise we take huge damage then we get back into killing the towers and of course the boss itself which is at 84 percent 
once we kill it job well done so guys that is how the bosses work let me know if you have any questions if there is still something that you're curious about happy to answer in the comments and i'll see you on the next one